So as for all the home bakers, I think that um, the very first thing that I would encourage people to do is uh, to start doing it, to start trying it. I think that, you know, what we try to teach people is uh, not to be afraid of bread. You know, it's, it's only bread. What I suggest is to stop thinking about whether or not the bread is perfect or whether you're good at it or not. The first thing you're going to need is a good recipe. So um, I would suggest starting with a recipe for how to make a sourdough starter. But you can start sourdough just by mixing flour and water and leaving it out to ferment. I mean, it's as simple as that. And really enjoy the process of making it. Well, it's a lot of trial and error. And, you know, our methods are very simple. You know, we might mix the dough one day, leave it in the fridge, and then cut it the next day or even two days later. It's not just like it has to be started and finished. It doesn't have to be a huge project every time you do it, you know? Once you've got your sourdough starter and you have a good recipe for bread, at that point you should begin um, mixing it according to the recipe. And then I would suggest changing your hydration level, either a little bit higher or a little bit lower, just to see what happens. It's really fun. You know, if, you, if it's not perfect, it's still gonna be much better than what you would get at the grocery store. But it might be better than the supermarket because you made it and you put your good feelings and love and... So you should experiment a little, but I would say never experiment with two different things at the same time. If you're going to try a different flour, try a different flour. If you're going to try higher hydration, try higher hydration. But don't do both at the same time. A lot of people are afraid to try making bread because they're afraid it isn't going to be perfect. And I try to kind of dispel all of that. You know, I when I first started baking bread at home, I the Tartine bread book had just come out. I think that bread book for sure uh, has a great um, method for baking bread at home. People are also afraid that they're going to kill their sourdough and, you know, if they don't feed it every day, some people are afraid they're going to have to take it on vacation. It's like a pet and it's actually much more resilient than that. Just give it a try. There's, what is there to lose? A little flour of water. Once you get good at baking, do whatever you want. But keep feeding your family well-made bread. That's something special that you can't buy at a store. You know, people just need to not be so scared about it. It's going to be fun. If you have fun, it's not a waste of time.